Get full episodes of The Damage Report as a podcast on iTunes and Android, and you can watch the live show every weekday on YouTube TV. It's Thanksgiving week, and uh, I'm actually off after tonight. So uh, the first thing I'm thankful for this year is that, that I'm not <laughs> gonna be here the rest of the week, but the show will go on. We're gonna have episodes tomorrow and the next day in advance of Thanksgiving. Um, I tried to force them to come in on Thanksgiving, but it turns out I can't legally do that. Um, but Brooke is here, and so I thought we'd take a couple of minutes to talk yeah. about what we are thankful for in 2018. What are you thankful for besides no, you, vacation you week? First. No, it's so many things. Listen, I'm thankful for living here in California, which is one of the even Emotionally safest places in uh, this country right Emotionally, now. Emotionally, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a bit hot. It's, but it, this place is on fire. Could be worse. You know? Well, right. Out, oh, <laughs> yeah. Too it soon. Is. Yeah. It is. It's but devastating. This, even, you know, this opportunity here, because LA is a rough place, mm -hmm. you know, and I moved here from Philly. And this has probably been the kindest, most mm. fun newsroom. That I've really? ever encountered. You know, I've worked in a thousand. You have worked all newsrooms. <laughs> yes. So it is just there are so many likable people here. Oh, that's awesome. There's one guy Brett, one of them. and it's like we could do without him. But yeah, we're, we're working on that. Everyone, um, no, Brett is like my favorite person. <laughs> no, it's just it's a fun place. So I'm thankful for you guys. Well, we're thankful I'm for you. Thankful for my family. You know. Yeah, I guess technically. They're, okay, you know, your family. Okay. That's great. I'm thankful for my family. <laughs> yes. I don't get to see my family a lot. <laughs> Wait. Oh my God, jeez, ever since they got this ability to type those up in real time, Jesus. Um, but yes, I'm thankful for my family. I don't get to see them very often, but for Christmas, actually, I'm gonna see both of my brothers at the same time, something oh, that only snap. happens on average once every five years. Yeah. So that should be cool. What else? No, that's really, that's, that's, a, that's about it, uh, no? You know, no, you know, I actually live with my cousin out here. Super thankful mm -hmm. for him. My uncle's in town, his father, who is like a dad to me. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really incredibly thankful for my awesome. family. Everyone's healthy, everyone's doing That's well, good. everyone's happy. You know, I'm thankful for my friends. I've got some really good friends. I think just people. That's really where my thankfulness lies. What, um, I mean, you, you've had a big, you've got your own show. Yeah, I'm thankful Hello. for that. Um, I'm thankful for uh, my girlfriend and my dog, okay. which sort of keep me sane. God only knows what my life would be like if I didn't have either of those. I'd just be floating through the universe, <laughs> basically, untethered to reality. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. Um, I'm also thankful for not to get like stupid and like put for a ton of. I am t thankful that I'm gonna have a ton of bro time this week. Um, no, I'm thankful for uh, a lot of the incoming uh, uh, Congress people, especially the Congresswomen. You're thankful that are coming for the, the new Christ. more. Like the possibility of a house doing something? Exactly. So I'm just gonna say, if you're on the podcast, none of this is gonna make any sense. You don't sense, get the giggles. They're typing right. stuff all over the bottom of the screen. Right. So no, I'm, and I'm especially thankful for um, some of the, the the politicians that are helping to drive a lot of news coverage of issues that we've wanted to see talk about for a long time. So Rashida Tlaib and uh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez uh, with their talk about the Green New Deal and all. Like it's just so great. And Ro Khanna on the economic issues, like. We've only the only names for the past two years have been negative ones. Donald Trump and his you know his orbit of terrible people. It's good to have good people that you can you know be inspired by. Yeah. I also want to thank those people who make this show possible. People like you and Jr. and the other co-hosts, our guests as well. Edwin, who you can't see. Sophie, who's over here. The control room is awesome too. Brett's technically in there as well. Uh, Dan, who uh, betrayed us and moved on to another Dan show, but he was good while he lasted. Uh -huh. Yeah, but and I'm so Dan Jenna is and just Amber, so lovable. Craig's graphics, food, Craig's food, all and the other Craig. the other crew people. Bart's in there too, <laughs> and uh, our our editors as well. Cassie, um, all the people who help publish the podcast. Like, there's so many people that you don't even know about that are required for this show to work. Uh, but we're thankful for them too. Oh my gosh, your viewers. Oh no, we have no time. We have no uh, the time. viewers as well. Yeah. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.